everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I want to show you how to assemble an easel card. The one that I'm going to work on today is the um, graduation cap easel card, but the instructions are pretty much the same for almost all of the easel cards that I've done. So let me show you the pieces that come with this file, and then I'll show you how to assemble it. So first off, we have the printable sentiment. This one says congratulations. It comes as a PNG. It comes for um, Silhouette, the basic edition, or you can open it up in Word or Photoshop or any of those. You can just print it right off. It also comes as a PNG in the Design Space folder that is sized um, perfectly to, to open up in Design Space for your Cricut. Along with that is a blank one, so if you want to handwrite or you have some rubber stamps and want to put your own sentiment on it, you would use this one. I'm going to set this one aside because we are going to use the printable one today. Then you'll have this little shadow that goes behind your sentiment. And this piece is also for your sentiment. And this is what's going to raise it up so that your easel will pop open. I'll show you that in just a minute. The next thing that we have are our um, embellishment panels for the front of the card. Then you have the cap, the graduation cap, and it has three pieces. So there's a small circle, there's a small circle with a hole in it, there's the medium square and the large square, and those both have holes in them. You will also need for this piece a brad. And um, I've showed you in other videos that if you, if you don't have a colored brad, the color that you want it, you can buy those regular gold brads and just color them with a Sharpie mar marker to match the, what you need. Okay, then you'll need this, this sheet of paper. And um, this is for the diploma. And I actually cut this out of just regular copy paper. It works with cardstock, but I think it works a little bit better with your copy paper. And then this is your card base. And I'll show that to you here in just a second. You have the option of adding a tassel to this card. And so here is my tassel maker. And I've done a video, actually I've done a couple of videos on how to use this tassel maker to make a, a tassel that you can add to your cap. This is not necessary. This is an option. So it's up to you. But I'm going to show you today how to use it. Then you will also need some foam tape and a little bit of ribbon or twine, your scissors and your glue. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I want to um, glue my panels onto the front of my card. So I'm just gonna take my little tape runner And this goes right on the front with a little bit of a shadow behind it. And I guess I should show you how to fold the card. It's pretty simple. You're just going to fold on this middle score line like a regular card. And then there's perforations on here and you're going to fold them up. And you'll have your, your square or whatever shape if you're doing a different type of card that pops open. Okay. So then we're going to take this embellishment piece. So if you're doing the one with the beehive or the wedding ring, they're all pretty much the same. So we're going to put that on there. Now let's work on this middle piece where our sentiment goes because this is what's actually going to keep our easel um, popped up. I'm going to bend that out of the way. And we're going to take our shadow and we're going to take our sentiment piece and we're going to glue those together. Just like that. Okay, then this piece, I'm going to actually take some um, foam tape and add that to the back of there. I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces. And actually, I like to do three. away for just a minute. Take those off. Now 
come on work with me here okay now before you glue that on you want to decide how much you want this card to stand up so if you want it really tall like that or down kind of in the middle that's what I do is I usually do it down in the middle and then we're just going to put that right there and I am giving it a little bit of a space because now we're going to add this piece to it and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to cut some foam and put it on the back and if you have just regular foam dots that's what most people use it it works fine you just want this to have a little bit of height to it all right come on okay and we're gonna just add that right there and that is perfect because now you'll see that it holds that easel piece up like that okay so that's the inside and you can still write a note or whatever you want okay now we're gonna do the cap so let me show you these three pieces again you have a little circle you have the medium square and you have the large square when they're just stacked up on top of each other it's a little bit hard to see the different layers and you can leave it just like that and glue them flat if you want to it would also be really pretty if this bottom piece was maybe cut out of gold or a different color to give it just a little bit of dimension i'm going to come back to my foam tape again and i'm going to add a little bit of foam tape just to pop it up a little bit so i'm going to put it on the smaller piece line up those holes and now it's hard to see on the camera but you really can see a little bit of a, a dimension on this card if you really didn't want to do that you could use just the bottom piece and not add the, that middle piece for the dimension or like I said you could do that in two different colors okay then for this circle we're gonna do the same thing I cut those really small really thin Just line it up oh you know what I can see just a little bit of my tape so I'm gonna cut that out so we can't see quite so much I should have maybe made those even a little bit smaller so line that up just like there okay now we want to add your brad and your brad is gonna go all the way through your hat and your card if you're doing a tassel and want to add the tassel this is the point where you will add that so i showed you in another video how to put these together this last little piece is your hang tag and i'm just going to tie a knot i'm going to kind of try and decide about how long i want it to hang and then tie a knot in there i don't want it to hang too much because and then I'm just going to trim off those two pieces right there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to put this brad through that hole, line those pieces up, and this cap is a little bit larger than the pop-up piece. I fold it over, it's just a little bit larger, but that's okay. And then we're going to separate those brad pieces come on oh now i lost it okay separate those out there we go and i'm not going to cinch it down just yet because i want to add my tassel i'm just going to loop it around that brad now I'm gonna turn it over and just smash that really really tight okay there is my little um, graduation cap with the tassel hanging off of it 
okay and if this isn't completely covering I mean it's pretty firm but if for some reason it wasn't you could put a dot of glue behind there to glue it to that gray piece but I've got mine on there tight and it's staying okay the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the diploma so you'll want to take some of your string or whatever you're using ribbon whatever and cut I don't know I'd say a 10 inch piece and then we're gonna take our paper and I'm gonna put glue right here on one side or my tape runner. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna put glue on the other side. The easiest way to do this is you can just roll it by hand, but I found the easiest way to do it was to use a, a dowel. You could use a pencil, whatever. So I'm going to start rolling and there is my sticky side. It's, it's down. But then when I start rolling, it's up. Okay, so I'm just going to roll it around that dowel. Keeping it as nice and even as I possibly can. And when you get to the end, there's your other sticky side. So now it's just all nice and tight. going to just slide it right off take my ribbon or my string or whatever and actually I'm going to double it and just tie it right around there. You could do a bow. I'm just going to do a double knot. You can do it however you want. Okay. Trim up those little edges. And there is my um, diploma. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I didn't pull it out, I should have, it wasn't, is I'm going to actually put those on with glue dots. You could use just regular glue, and that's what I usually do, but you have to hold it and let it dry. Or if I use these glue dots, I'm just going to put one on that end, one on this end. Let's get them on the same side. making a mess. Okay, then we're just going to glue it right there to the card. Maybe move my rope around a little bit more. And there is your easel card. So when you mail this, it is going to have a little bit of bulk to it. It's not awful, but it does have a little bit. And then when they receive it, you can just pull it out of the envelope and pop it up. It says congratulations. Hold that up so you can see it. And you can just display it on your desk or whatever. You can also write your message in there or slip a gift card or whatever you want. So thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, let me know. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Have a great day.